there are three important concepts of supply sets. Availability Controlling the availability of supply sets. Association Associating a supply set or a handle to another supply set. Refinement Mapping a supply set function to the actual supply net. First, let's talk about availability. Let's see an example. We create power domain PD top with additional handles SS1 and SS2 using supply argument. PD top now has PD top dot primary, PD top dot SS1 and dot SS2 handles. Next, we create power domain PDA on elements A. This will create PDA dot primary supply. As per the rule, the supplies are available in all power domains in the same scope and below. So, PDA.primary is available in PDTOP. Likewise, the supplies in PDTOP are available in PDA. This will create unreasonable expectation for power grid design in, during physical implementation. Synopsis provides few keywords to control the availability of supply sets. Extra supplies empty list as shown will keep only the supply sets of that power domain. Now, PDA.primary is not available in PDTOP. To selectively control the availability, provide the required list of supplies using extra supplies underscore one underscore two as shown, which will remove PDTOP.primary from PDA in this case. The next concept we will talk about is association. For a given power intent, in most of the cases, it is possible that few handles share common voltage characteristics. For example, in the given power intent, creation of PDTOP creates two supply handles, PDTOP.primary and PDTOP.AOLO as shown. And PDA power domain creates PDA.primary.default isolation and default retention. In this example, let's assume the default retention and isolation shares the common voltage characteristics of the supply PDTOP.AOLO. For that, first we associate PDA.default retention to PDA.default isolation using the command associate supply set PDA.default isolation dash handle PDA.default retention. Next, we associate these supply handles to PDTOP.AOLO using the command associate supply set PDTOP.AOLO dash handle PDA.default retention. Now let's talk about refinement. Before physical implementation, we have to refine the UPF which consists of two steps. Defining domain independent supply nets and mapping supply set functions to these supply nets. Let's define the supply nets first. We create the supply net VDD dash domain PDTOP. Oops, the supply net has to be domain independent. Let's get rid of it. Then we create the supply port VDD and connect the supply net VDD to supply port VDD. We do the same thing for AOVDD by creating net port and connecting them and similarly for VSS. Let's map supply set functions to actual supply nets we just created using create supply set pdtop.primary dash function power to VDD and ground to VSS. Remember to use dash update option because pdtop.primary is already defined. We do the same thing for pdtop.default retention. 